Hey everyone, uh, welcome to, I suppose it's the final vlog, is it? I'm not sure, uh, we'll have to wait and see, uh, but I um, mean, as you, any of you that have been watching the, the channel over the last few days, last week, all the parts have arrived, um, assembly videos have been put up and everything, and here we are, uh, this is it, this is the result, um, after, I think cumulatively probably about six hours of tons of work to put it all together so I'm just gonna walk you guys through like what's happened here uh, what I've done and um, yeah let's have a look okay so unfortunately with this particular phone it doesn't have 4k stabilization so it's gonna be a little bit jerky and I apologize for that okay so first things first we have the NZXT X62 Kraken, right there. Okay, that's it right there. And I have it mounted as an exhaust on the top in a pull configuration. The fans are here. You can just about see it. There, those are the fans that are pulling. Um, for this particular setup, it seems to be a lot more uh, efficient in terms of, uh, you know, uh, getting all the heat out of the case. At least that's what I feel. I don't know. Um, the temperatures certainly seem to bear that out. Okay, and uh, we have the Kraken G12. Okay, mounted onto the Zotac GTX 1080 Ti Mini. Right, there were quite a few challenges in, in trying to get this combination uh, working together. Uh, I'll put in the links below for you guys to see. And as you can see here, it has uh, an, an, an AIO attached underneath. You can just about see it is that says Corsair, right? And this is the Corsair HATI V2. And HATI obviously has a thicker radiator uh, than most RADs. This is 49 millimeters, okay? Uh, compared to the usual um, 27, 29, even 30 millimeter radiators that you get on uh, 120 millimeter size. So this is 120 right here, okay? That's the Corsair fan, obviously. Now, as you can just about see, maybe if I just get a light here, just to show you guys what I'm talking about, the tolerances were really, really tight. Put the lamp here. Let's shine it into the corner. As you can see, it's it's pretty tight in there. Okay. Uh, let's try and maneuver this around a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, clearances are not great. That is the uh, CPU. Um, what do you call it? The CPU power. Uh, eight-pin power pan. Sorry, eight-pin CPU uh, power cable. Okay, so that's not great. Uh, the clearance, as you can see here, we've got the uh, NZXT. We've got the USB cable here. It's gone all the way down. It's run down underneath and is being has been plugged into the uh, USB header right here. The second one, this USB header is now plugged into the Corsair, the HATI V2. And you're gonna have to do this because that is the only way to control uh, the Corsair HATI V2 via Corsair Link. There's no other way to control it. You cannot use, um, yeah, that's the only way to control it. Okay. So I have this, these are the power cables. This one goes to this uh, fan. Right, this one comes out from the pump head of the HATI V2, right? We have the G12 fan here, which goes into the other, uh, which goes into the other, uh, sorry, uh, the other fan header that comes out from the Corsair uh, HATI V2 pump head, okay? And there is a three pin uh, header that is supposed to go into the CPU, uh, that is supposed to go into the CPU fan slot on the motherboard, which I have put in right here, up top here. Okay, so this one, there are two CPU fan headers. Most of you will have two CPU fan headers. This one is linked to the NZXT Kraken, and this one is linked to the Corsair HATI V2. Okay, so these are what power the fans and the pump for the Kraken G12. Okay, through here. So as you can see, we've had some compromises in terms of. Um, placement of uh, cables. This is the best that I could do. There's a whole mess of cables here that you guys can't really see. Um, but that was 
quite a challenge, uh, you know, so basically I just shoved everything in and then once the case is on, you can't really see them, so, you know, if, if it's not there, it's not really a problem, is it? <laughs> so yeah. So as you can see here, in order to run uh, the CPU from, uh, sorry, to run this fan header all the way up to the CPU 2 header, I've had to use a, a fan extender. Sorry, a, a, a fan extent extension cable, which you just happen to have lying around. Okay, um, if you try to do it by itself and put it up there, it's probably not going to reach, right? If you cannot do that, the, the alternative was actually to go to the uh, system fan header, which is usually used for the exhaust uh, fan that is on the back of the case. So this is probably the best compromise so far for layout in terms of airflow. Okay, because uh, you will have uh, sorry. Trying to get this right. Okay, so you will have. Um, sorry, let's just get this straight. So you have all the fans coming in from the side here. That the airflow coming in this way. Okay, there are three intake fans here. Uh, uh, so yeah, three times, three times 120 millimeter intake fans here coming in, pushing in uh, ambient air, and of course now you have that air that's being circulated in, and then this fan is actually pulling air in and blowing it on all of the VRMs and the, uh, the you know the capacitors and all that that are on the Zotac Mini okay so that air goes back up and then when it goes back up it is exhausted out uh, of the case via the X62 which is using pull fans at the top okay so that's how that air gets out and of course any air that comes through here which is supposed to obviously cool down the uh, RAM and everything. You know, you've got air coming in here as well, which is actually pretty cool air because it's not been uh, supercharged with heat from, say, the heat uh, from the heatsink that would have been on top of the Zotac 1080 Ti Mini, right? So that air is pretty cool actually. I can put my hand over it. It feels, uh, you know, just about ambient temperature. This is also cooling the RAM and everything. And of course, we have the exhaust fan here on the the. Uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Uh, you have the exhaust fan on the HATI V2. Okay, so there's no space to put both fans of the HATI V2. You will, you will easily run into clearance issues with the NZXT uh, CPU fan. Uh, uh, sorry, the CPU uh, cooling block slash pump. Okay, so yeah, so this is, I think, the ideal compromise for this sort of setup with uh, dual radiators with a 120 on the back and a 280 up top. You have all of the air coming in from the side, airflow. So you have the air coming in here, and this is being pushed up again because of the fan here, right? And this air then is either being exhausted out here or being exhausted out here, okay? So therefore, you don't have any... The GPU is not spitting hot air back into the case. That's uh, good point number one. And of course, good point number two is that you, you, you don't actually have hot air anywhere here or down here, okay? It's all relatively cool. And of course, you know, with the hard drives here, everything is being cooled down properly. No problem whatsoever. Okay, so that's it, guys. I've uh, done a walkthrough, a vlog of how my case setup is now. And of course, the next video is obviously going to be about the temperatures. Yeah, we're going to run some tests. We're going to run some benchmarking. And uh, yeah, that's it. Peace out.